stage with Mary from Zap Mama, and we're at Lollapalooza, and um, it's pretty rainy out, but you're managing to look pretty fabulous and stay and dry. How do you uh, get inspiration for your outfits? Um, I don't know, it's because I start my uh, life in the drawing world, you know, I like animation. <laughs> From a cartoon, from a Japanese animation, they have very good imagination there. And then from there, awesome. and uh, I don't know, my dream. <laughs> yeah. um, where'd you get this lovely headpiece? Homemade. You made it? Yes. Awesome. What was the record? Uh, Gladys Knight. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I read that you listened to a lot of African music in your home growing up. What do you play around your house now? Uh, I like to discover all kinds of, of sound. It's like being a creative person, you have no front. As an artist, we always have to go uh, above the front. And then we try to discover and then see what is in the corner. Then I go to Indian world and discover the sound of Indian. And they do very good sound, rhythm. Then I pick up some sound from them and I put that in a hip hop. The same with the Chinese kind of uh, weird sound, uh, weird uh, instrument, and that, you know, I discover a big creative is no limits, you know, you have to always be curious. Yeah. So I've seen that you've done a lot of collaborations, and I heard a song that you did with Erica Badu. How did that come to be, and what was it like to work with her? Beautiful. Very beautiful person, inside, outside, perfect package. Yeah. And we stay friends. We talk and we both come from the same planet yeah. of inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. And it's easy when you collaborate with artists that they fuse together, they inspire each other. It's like when we did this video, if you go to YouTube, you can see Zapama and Erica. Mm -hmm. We created that together. We spent a night trying clothes and drawing and, uh, and try this and laughing and film ourselves. And she started editing. This is the way it happened. Yeah, came together. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so your latest album is called Recreation. If you could recreate any album ever, what would you pick? Oh, it's going to be a compilation. Yeah? Yes. You couldn't just pick one? Oh, yeah. I really like Chris Jones' uh, Night Clubbing. I love that album. Yes. I've been listening to it a lot this week, actually, yes. which is I, funny. Yeah. Yeah, me recently I listen it again a lot, and it's when I pick up one I like. People who live with me are like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said, but listen, and then I, because I, I've, uh, she passed in Brussels, she played in Brussels, and I was like, fun number one, shouting, doing all of it, and then, and then she's like, okay, but why you stay, stay, stand up, look at her. Yeah. The impossible to stay. She's like, wow, she's my one of my inspiration. Yeah. This kind will be her. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Like, I just discover new things. I don't know who's playing there. But I like that sound like electro soundtrack. Yeah. I don't know. It's sound tribe sector nine. They're cool. Yeah. They're very cool. cool. Yeah. I discover them. I don't know them and say, ooh, I like them. That would be a very interesting collaboration. It's because there's no mama and voices. Sound tribe. Yeah. And it's why I said I wanna sing on top of your music. Yeah. Yeah. See I want them to yeah. inspire me. They invite you. Voices. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, maybe we can see a Zap Mama Sound Tribe Sector, Sector 9 collaboration yes. in the future. Yes. And I want to say thank you for uh, taking the time to talk to us today. And stay dry, and you guys stay cool. Thanks. Thank you.